Hello everyone, this is Jag. In this video, I'll show you an easy way to get rid of weeds from your driveway and your concrete using vinegar. Now, vinegar contains acetic acid, which actually draws out the moisture from the plants and kills the plants. So you don't want to use vinegar on the plants you actually want to keep. Vinegar is also acidic in nature. So you don't want to use vinegar on the weeds in your garden or on the plants that are actually like neutral pH because it will lower the pH level of your soil. You can, however, use vinegar on the weeds or on the plants that are actually like lower pH, such as blueberries, potatoes, and basil. So it's all depends on how you use vinegar. In this video, I'll show you how I use vinegar, some of the limitations of vinegar, and everything you want to know about vinegar as a weed killer. This way, you won't have to use harmful chemicals or Roundup. So let's get started. I have pretty tough weeds growing in my driveway. This is crabgrass, which is a very common weed. This is the weed I'll be experimenting on with vinegar. I'll also use a few other weeds in my driveway to expand on my experiment. I drilled a hole in the cap of this bottle, and then I found the cheapest white distilled vinegar I could find. I am then adding the vinegar directly to the bottle. I filled the bottle with vinegar leaving some space. Next, I got some cheap dish soap. I poured a little bit of the dish soap into the bottle containing vinegar. Dish soap helps vinegar to stick to the weeds. I shook the bottle well to mix the vinegar and dish soap. The little hole on the bottle cap makes it very easy to spray vinegar. I then sprayed the vinegar solution on the weeds. I sprayed and drenched the weeds with vinegar. I also sprayed other weeds around my driveway as well. It is very easy to spray with a plastic bottle with a hole in the bottle cap. With this setup, you don't even need a sprayer to spray the vinegar solution on your driveway. This setup provides a continuous stream of spray without the use of a sprayer. So after just three days, the weed starts to die and vinegar works the best in between the seams of your concrete. So if that area of your concrete does not get moisture or water from sprinklers, those weeds will never come back. However, if you do get moisture or water from sprinklers or other sources, your weeds will come back after two weeks and you want to spray with vinegar every two weeks in that area. However, it has been two weeks for me and let me show you what I got. The first bigger weed, the crabgrass, has dried up. This one is not receiving any water from the sprinklers, so this one is not coming back. This weed is done. The second weed is completely gone as well. This one is not coming back either. However, using vinegar as a weed killer does have some limitations. The best condition to use this technique is to apply the solution when the temperature is above 85 degree Fahrenheit or 30 degrees Celsius. You must apply the solution on a full sunny day and make sure that there is no rain in the forecast for another 2-3 to three days. I also sprayed vinegar in this walkway, half of which is in full sun, however the other half is in the shade of a tree. After 3 days, the vinegar solution seems to be working really well on the weeds in the full sun. However, vinegar solution seems not to be working too well on the weeds in the shade. This is why you must apply vinegar on weeds in full sun on a hot sunny day. Vinegar works really well on weeds in your driveway because concrete heats up. Vinegar is the best and natural way to get rid of weeds in your driveway and your concrete without the use of any harmful chemicals or Roundup. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in another video.